Hey, my YouTube voice now. <clears throat> hey guys, so last week we shot this filefish, then this mangrove snapper, and this squid. And let me hit you with some SEA English here. As excited as I was that Kevin shot it, he was to eat it. Which is why he's going to make me cook it right after I shot I on a bun. Oh, don't forget the snuck, girl. So it was around there that I just could not resist the urge to take one more shot of this gorgeous footage. But little did I know that my boy had done already started to clean the fish and all kind of thing without footage. Come to this boy, boy. What are you saying, fish? Oh, okay. This come from it. Oh, shit. That is me. Yeah, I thought it. That is me. There's no plastic? No, it is. Look, yes. My own is. You sure? Yeah. That is structure. That is bone. Okay, so I was really struggling with this new information because the only squid that I had cleaned prior to this would have been like tiny little squid as bycatch from trawlers. So I definitely hadn't seen it before. And Kevin was right. So squid don't really have a skeleton or bones. They have an internal structure called an internal shell, which is what you saw there. So this shell will help him with rigidity, it'll maintain his body shape, and it'll help him with movement. The main advantage here really is that he's just much quicker than any of his shelled relatives who, you know, move in with a house and So this squid that we found on a reef in the Caribbean is very suitably called the Caribbean reef squid. I found out that I wasn't wrong to say that it was the biggest one I'd seen because they only grew up to about 8 inches and that's exactly how long this one was tentacles included now you might be asking yourself how many tickles does it take for caribbean reef squid to laugh yes that's correct so they have eight short tentacles and two long tentacles to pull in their prey and feed it to their beak under their head they eat small fish and shrimp and it seems that i'm running out of footage so ah the file fish a very very strange looking fellow but he is also adapted to survive so the first thing i would point out here is that he is a terrible swimmer you'll see very soon that his fins are very small and that's why they're actually adapted to be masters of disguise you'll also notice that coupled with that ability to camouflage because if you look back he's kind of like the same color as the reef he has a spine at the top of his head that he would erect to ward off any predators now while he can't swim that well are you seeing empty it mm -mm. so we came home to clean the rest of the fish but that means there was a lot of random noise and conversation in the background but i do want you all to hear why they call it a file fish before i tell y'all so listen kevin yep the skin is just like sandpaper which is why back in the day they used to use it as sandpaper hence the common name file fish forgot the stove on oil and we back Pull it, pull it. Me like butter. Yeah, dog. Right, so the hardest part is to skin this fish, and that's why we use that special knife. Other than that, we usually use filet knives, but definitely don't want to damage my filet knife. And you're about to see why.
bob and weave on the bone. Yeah, see the bob and weave. The bob and weave with the bubba. Yeah, baby! Like, it's like, shin. Thank <laughs> you. 